Rio Ferdinand has leapt to the defense of under pressure Chelsea manager Graham Potter amid calls for him to lose his job. Chelsea's defeat at home to Southampton on Saturday means they have won just two of their last 14 matches having scored a meager four goals in the Premier League in 2023. Vociferous boos could be heard around Stamford Bridge on Saturday as the temperature was ramped up on Potter and the mood appeared to turn sour, and, in some cases, toxic. However, asked about how long it would be before the Chelsea hierarchy finally pulled the trigger on Potter, Ferdinand offered a repost to the suggestion that he was failing amid the club having sanctioned a £300 million outlay during the January window. I would go as far to say that Graham Potter has one of the hardest jobs in the league, he told his vibe with five show. Because what he has been given, it is weird to say that, because he's been given, crazy amounts of talent. Chelsea boss Graham Potter is under pressure following another damaging result on Saturday the Blues fell to a 1-0 home defeat by Southampton via a James Ward-Prowse free kick Chelsea supporters look on with frustration during their side's 1-0 defeat at Stamford Bridge, but he's a new manager, he's never dealt with players of that stature, and those egos, and having to manage that. So every week, just imagine this, he's going in, yes he's got great players at his disposal and they're not a team, he's got to formulate a team, and disappoint between 11 to 15 players. All players think they should play, that is one of the hardest conversations. You speak to any manager, one of the hardest conversations for any manager is to tell a player you're not playing this week. How do you pick those players back up again? It's hard. What I am saying is that it's one element of how difficult it is, man management of people. Asked why they hadn't yet sacked him, amid claims that previous owner Roman Abramovic would have parted company with Potter at least twice over by now, Ferdinand said the new regime were trying to do it their way. I think they're doing it their way and only time will tell whether they are what they say they're about. Can they withstand the pressure from outside influences like the media and fans, relating Potter's job at one of the Premier League's truly elite clubs, with the former Brighton and Swansea boss having been given a sizable sum to spend in January, Ferdinand said his job was just as tough to that of a manager at the bottom end of the league, just in a different manner. It's tough in equal ways, just at different ends of the spectrum, he said. He walked into a group that was already formulated before he got there, all new signings. He didn't walk into a club that was settled. He walked in after a guy had spent pound 100s of millions on new players coming into that squad. Normally you go into a club and the players are quite settled. Rio Ferdinand leapt to his defense and said that he has a tough job on his hands at Chelsea they made significant outlays in the January window, including on the likes of Enzo Fernandez Mikhailo Mudrik was another Chelsea signed in January, Potter has not made him click yet then you've got a sprinkling of new players. He had 9 or 10 players that were new to the squad when he arrived, then signs another 9 or 10 new players. I am saying don't look at this as, oh he's spending money it's an easy job. There's a lot of things, even though he's getting money, that are going against him. It's hard. It's a hard job. It's a hard job at the best of times, Chelsea face Tottenham this weekend with Potter under increasing pressure to get the team firing again. Their firing of blanks against Borussia Dortmund and Southampton in the same week marked the fifth and sixth times they had failed to score in games this year alone. They currently sit 10th with 31 points after 23 games and a goal difference of zero.